Heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome to the One Up Block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and today, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. When we left off, I was just getting out of Jabba Jabba's belly, we got the Zora Sapphire, and now we have all the spiritual stones. We started off over there by Kokiri because, uh, Kariko, my bad. Because I was checking to see if I could learn the, the Song of Storms, uh, in which case I cannot. <laughs> so, now as we draw closer to Hyrule Castle, you'll notice that it's getting pretty ominous. And uh, that's because uh, something's about to happen, <laughs> as this would uh, suggest. Looks pretty bad out here. I think I'm about to sneeze. Ugh, pardon me if I do. Just enjoy the cutscene. <laughs> no, no, fine. Just see on. Whatever. <clears throat> no big deal. I need a better mic. Like, seriously. I need better quality. Hey! Don't I remember this from somewhere? Visions of a first episode are coming to mind. <laughs> oh. Hey, that didn't happen in my dream. Oh, but this did. <laughs> this certainly did. You butt ugly Martian. Anybody else remember that show? No, just me? Okay, make me feel old. Arg, I lost her! You! Over there! Little kid! You must have seen that white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! Fuck you. <laughs> so you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. And you won't when I'm done with you. <laughs> I've got a big gem on my forehead because I'm an idiot. You want a piece of me? Very funny! I like your attitude! You won't like it by the end of this game. <gasps> you... You have a Kai Blast? You bitch! You son of a bitch. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you're dealing with? I am Ganondork! And soon I will rule the world. Later, Ganondork. So yeah, in case you didn't know, his name is Ganondorf. And now Hyrule is still kind of in shambles. You can still hear him riding off. Okay, so the the galloping was trailing off. All right, just making sure. I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to. Hold on, I'm checking something real quick before we. Uh, we've been going on for three minutes. All right, so that's a thing. I can I can check uh, Audacity to see how long I've been uh, recording. That's kind of useful. No, you bat, you batch. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Are you serious? Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure that's left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Uh oh. Something's happening. Dan, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. I don't like how close those periods are to that can. Plus the can is like not capitalized. Dan, when you when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. Are you dead? I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I can leave you the ocarina and this melody. And what melody would that be, my dear? Sorry, I got something in my nose. Alright, so... I forgot I could use that. I forgot I could use A as a key in the Ocarina. I'm pretty dumb. Yay, you learned a song that has no importance until Majora's Mask. Which I will be tackling at some point. <laughs> 
Yeah! Majora's Mask is gonna be a little blind run because, uh, I've only played Majora's Mask once. Now, Dan! Play this melody in front of the altar of the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Uh, I've played this game before and I know that's a bad idea. But, you know, for the sake of this playthrough, we're gonna do it anyway. Whatever. And it's not ominous anymore. I like how there's a little... Hold on, what's the button for it? Alright. I like how there's a little burn mark back there on the textures for the uh, wall. That's that's a nice little detail. Oh, uh, the castle seems fine. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> it's getting late. I'm getting a little tired. But that's not going to stop me from proceeding to where I need to be. Which is this church. Which is the Temple of Time, but don't tell anybody it's actually a church. Alright, so... These pre-rendered backgrounds are just the best, aren't they? Why was Link, like, highlighted white there? Did you guys see that? The Temple of Time. Yeah, this episode's gonna be really exciting, actually, because, uh... Well, in case you haven't seen it before... There are three... Oh, shit, that's great. That is how the inscription reads. I'm gonna read it again. There are three hollows in the inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription... Oh, really? That wasn't long at all. Alright, so, uh... Whoops, that's the wrong button. Whoopsie doodles. Alright, cool. I got it. I gotta... I gotta get the whole buttons... Uh... Matched. I, I got him weird again, but uh. Ugh. Alright, so. We're opening the door of time. The door of the Temple of Time. The gems come out of me magically because. Fucking science, I guess. <laughs> they float around my head maliciously, and then they land on the pedestal where they belong. Ta da! Those things are fucking huge. Where do you have them? Where do you need to put them? I'm kind of like talking over most of the music, and most of the music is really good. So I implore you to go play this game if you if you haven't already. Which I mean, where the fuck have you been if you haven't played this game? Uh, go play this game and just take it all in for yourself. Play it, with, play it on emulator and play it with uh, those good headphones like Turtle Beaches or something, just so you get the full effect. But, uh, Dan, isn't that... <sighs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's the legendary blade of Evil's Bane. The Master Sword. It didn't say Evil's Bane, but that's totally what it is. This is a this is a big moment guys. This is a big step in this let's play Because after we take the sword we can never go back. No, I'm just kidding. We can go back, but seriously This is we're, we're about to take a, our first steps into the next Level of this game. Are you guys ready? I'm getting chills. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it It would be funnier if you could see my face because I was like smiling at the at my webcam like I, I like I was recording it or something but, uh, alright, I think we get a little, oh shit, yeah, see, opening the door to the Temple of Time was a bad idea. <laughs> Excellent work, I laugh with G's, as I thought you held the keys to the door of time. How did you know that? You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm, and now I shall destroy everything like a little bastard. I owe it all to you, kid. God, I'm yelling a lot. <laughs> oh, his mouth moved in when he laughed. That's neat. I suppose. Dan. Wake up. Dan the Chosen One. This is really magical. Like, this is a magical moment in time if you're playing this game yourself because this is the first time you get to see, uh,. Well, I'll, I'll let it be a surprise for the next couple of seconds. Oh. I think we're looking through Link's perspective. Yeah, we're looking through Link's perspective. 
And guess who that is? I am Ra-Ru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Dan, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. And here's the surprise. We're now manly as fuck. <laughs> Seriously, how does a kid who sleeps in a temple for a couple of years wind up just so manly? Look, Dan, you're big now. You've grown up. Navi's having a spasm attack. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. Yeah, see? And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yes. But remember, though you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from its Temple of Light, and with his power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only a little influence, even in the Sacred Realm, namely this Chamber of Sages. But there is still hope. The power of the Sages remains. When the power of all the Sages is awakened, the Sages' seals will contain all evil power in the void of the realm. I, Rauru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages to add their might to your own. So yeah, that's our new quest. Ganondorf is a dick. He uh, kind of destroyed our home world. What an asshole. And now we have to collect these little medallions. And the first one is given to us for free. Even though people say in the uh, original game, before, like in the betas, they this was supposed to be collected because of, like, you know, a quest that was taken out of the game. But he received a light medallion. Raru the Sage adds his powers to yours. It doesn't really do anything. It's just, like, hypothetical, you know. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm going to burp. All right, you guys probably didn't hear that. Uh, that's good. We're gonna do it again. No, I'm not. I lied. It's gonna go. I guess we take it. <sighs> All right. So we're heroes now. The heroes of time, to be specific. Dan, we're back in the temple of time. But has seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Why? Let's get out of here. So yeah, we, we can't use some of the weapons we had as a kid, like the boomerang and stuff, because reasons. It doesn't really explain why an adult can't use a slingshot. I understand why a kid can't use a bow and arrow, I guess. But, you know, whatever. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice in the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in the deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under the vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will blind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed by people, the Sheikah. Yes, this episode's gonna end probably after this little cutscene. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. Do I now? If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But, if you believe in what I am saying, you should head to Kakariko village. D 
Do you understand, Dan? But of course. So that's Sheik. He's cool. He's pretty awesome. He's like a ninja, sort of. So, let's do my favorite little trick here. Wah -ba -ba. Yeah, now we get to stand on the, the, the jewels, even though they're uh, see-through. But, uh, yeah, that's all the time I have for today. <laughs> I'll, I should stop saying half for today, because when I continue to record, it sounds stupid. But uh, that's all the time I have for this episode. So uh, join me again next time as I continue to play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. A hero's work is never done. Later days, guys. This level is disgusting, but I love it. I love the design. I hate the fucking level. Like, as a level, I hate this damn level. If not only because it confuses the shit out of me, it still confuses the shit out of me as an adult when I've played this game billions of times before. And it pisses me off. It takes so much effort for me.